What's up? It's Keith Kelfus. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I keep a meticulously organized uh, schedule. Not me, but Google Calendar does, and how this thing has absolutely saved my life. So this is a really quick video here, but this is so powerful. So look at my, my calendar here. Uh, like, I know where I'm going to be down for down to the hour and where I for the past five years uh, and this is how how I do that if it doesn't go into the calendar it's not gonna happen it has to go in the calendar so I have two phones I'm taping with one phone and I have this phone you can also use a pair of uh, Bluetooth like this here's how I do it when the phone rings pick up the phone I say hello this is Keith with Kelfus landscaping how can I help you? And the customer goes, yes, I was looking for an estimate for this, this, and this. No matter what they say, I say, great, how did you hear about our services? And I'll pull over. It's this you can't do while you're driving. <laughs> but I'll pull over. I say, uh, one moment, please, while I pull over. We're very busy right now, so let me pull over so I can take down your information. Pull over. And then you go into your contacts and go plus, add a new contact, and then you start talking to them. What is your project? What do you need? You need an estimate, blah, blah. Okay, great. Let me take down all your information and then I'll look through our calendar and I'll find out when is a good time for you and I both that I can come out and give you an estimate. I normally uh, only do estimates on Saturdays now because we're just so busy, right? If you don't have a secretary. So I press plus and I say, okay, your first and last name. Now, uh, if you got Bluetooth, you can actually do it right then and there looking at your phone That's why Bluetooth is so great because you can't be like going like that and on speakerphone. It doesn't work So they tell your name Tom Jones and I'll put a little notation Tree trimming landscaping or window cleaning right next to the name because I literally have uh, 22 Michaels 22 mics uh, like eight Dave's third like 4300 contacts from because I, I do this by habit, right? Windows, okay, and the best phone number to reach you at, type it in, and then you say in your email address, every time, they'll go, and they'll just give you the email, okay, now you got their email, no matter what, because even if you give them a quote or give do work for them or not, now you've got all their contact information, and you can market those services to them. <sighs> Once a day, I gotta like, plug my nose and blow and pop my ears, my equilibrium, we're working hard, man. We're on uh, lunch break right now. Um, so, the next thing I say, and as they're giving me their information, I speak under my breath. I learned this. I did telemarketing for like a month and I quit, but they taught me something very cool. If you're on the phone with a customer and you're taking down their information, whether you're writing it or typing it, you say, okay, T O M. J one two. You very subtly say it under your breath as though you were typing it or writing it, so they can faintly hear that you're. So you're if so so you're not just sitting there completely quiet while taking their information because they will go. Hello, are you there? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. I'm just taking down your information. So T O. You get it? Okay. So once you get all that, you say, okay, I got that, save it. Now you got their contact info and you say, okay, I'm going to open up my calendar here and then let them know what you're doing. So I open up my calendar and I start looking through. I say, I'll tell you what, Mary, um, we're booked out for the next two weeks, but the following Tuesday, we have um, Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. M open. Uh, we can be there with a two-man crew or five-man crew or eight-man, whatever, and get that done for you. That's if it's if it's like window cleaning. I could quote the customer directly over the phone by looking at Google Maps. I go, oh, that looks like our 199 package. Yeah, we do that all the time. Our most common package is window cleaning inside and out, plus screen cleaning and wiping down of all sills. That's our 249 package. And you pause. If they're not going to be like, oh, that's way too expensive. And they say, okay, um, so we have next Tuesday morning open. Do you want me to keep moving forward for other dates, or does that work for you? No, 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 that's great. Okay. So, okay. Uh, Tuesday morning, uh, August 8th at 9 a.m. Okay, I'm penciling you in right now. Um, I, once again, my name is Keith with Kelfus Landscaping or Kelfus Window Cleaner, Joe's Power Washing. Uh, I, you can expect to see me there uh, Tuesday morning. August 8th at uh, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. 
and uh, the job will take approximately 2.5 hours. Uh, I ask that you raise up all the windows and the shades or move the cars out of the driveway or make sure all the sprinkler systems are turned off that morning, right? Or we, if it's an over $1,000 job and you quoted it, we require a 50% down and a, and, a, and a signature before we get started. Whatever that is, as long as you communicate all that crap to the customer over the phone with a professional caring sort of voice, then they assume that they're talking to a professional service business and they've got all the information they need and now they could be at ease because they're going to put it on their schedule and then you always say weather permitting. We'll be there weather permitting, you know, if there's a big rainstorm, I will give you a call if we have to push it back, but we'll be there and I'll give you a 30 minute heads up call or text message when we're on our way. Is text message okay? Right. There you go. You can now go forward if you've got a CRM and you can uh, a customer relationship management, you know, database software, and you can send them an email with all that in there as well. I don't got time to do that crap, but I always do call my customers when we're on our way. If we're going to be late, I call them or send them a text, whether whatever they prefer, to make sure, hey, we're going to be 20 minutes late. I'm sorry, we're having some delays in our schedule, and then we'll be late. I don't ever really often tell a customer I'm sorry unless you know I really mean it because there's a little psychological things in there but it really seems to work for me what I'm talking about and now I have this packed schedule and I know exactly what we're doing and where we're going and what's happening and you could be really on top of that the dumbest thing or the most common mistake is when you get busy is to bite off more work than you could chew and say oh maybe I can squeeze that in and I've learned hard lessons by working Sunday nights and having work piled up on my head but that's a totally different video so I hope you got something out of this video you can do it whether on iPhone or as long as you got Google or you can buy into a software there's tons of different great softwares as long as they have an app and it's easy access and it can integrate with